Everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer, and I have a community requested video for you. This isn't really a tutorial, but this is more of a comparison between two protocols that we use for live streaming. So, this is going to compare New Tech NDI with a capture card. Okay, in this case, my Elgato HD60 Pro. I think this is an interesting uh, comparison because HD60 Pro is quite achievable to you know by most people now. You can get it affordable it's 1080p 60 um it does a good job i like it a lot i use it you know for all my live streams for capturing my uh, mirrorless camera but also use new tech ndi to stream my gameplay what is new tech ndi for those of you who haven't heard about it well it is a protocol that came out a little over a year ago by a company called new tech and it was really designed for commercial use but they have released uh, tools that are available free for most people to use including live streamers that use OBS Studio or uh, any version of it and XSplit and I'm sure there's probably other I think um, uh, vMix uses it uh, but you know, anyway so most of our streaming softwares that we use allow the use of NDI so what is NDI well it's network device interface and it is a video streaming protocol that allows long distance video streaming from one point to another uh, it's kind of a replacement for SDI serial data interface if you uh, are used to or hear you know used to hearing that and it's used on camera devices and stuff more commercial line stuff uh, you see it a lot in networks and that sort of thing but SDI is limited in distance that's the key well that's what ndi does for you see it increases the distance between your uh transmit and receive by a great deal like i'm talking like virtually you could do it anywhere uh the latest news i think i heard there's two different news sources that came out that new tech put out on twitter talking about uh productions being done in other buildings in another state on our level as a consumer as a live streamer for you know twitch or youtube whatever or even making videos ndi is a free tool which is really what appeals to most people is the fact that it's free uh, it's a free tool that people can use to stream their video and audio from one pc to another which is why it is funny about this comparison because you have a video card a capture card that is you know typically i would get think right around 150 bucks 130 bucks comparing this to a free software that is you know virtually doing the same thing for you uh, so anyway i'm a big advocate of ndi i like it a lot i think that eventually ndi is going to be kind of the standard uh, and it might even at some point take over the use of capture cards because it's just so good it's usable it's free uh, the SDK tools are out there for the third-party developers to take and install NDI into their devices uh, there's applications coming out for instance there's a uh, Android app that you can get on your phone or tablet that you can send your uh, phone camera over your network and you could you know make a source on obs for instance which is awesome now i have set up obs studio obs studio with the uh, ndi latest ndi plugin and i'm also feeding my elgato to the same scene one will be on the left one will be on the right i'm not going to tell you which one i'd like you to try to see which one you think is better but i'm going to use some gameplay apex legends and battlefield 5 you can kind of compare the two look at them see which one you think maybe a capture card which one you think is ndi i seriously doubt you're going to be able to tell i'm just going to tell you up front
All right, so that is the two clips. Uh, one of Apex Legends, one of Battlefield Five. Uh, both of the sources, the Elgato and the NDI, were both displayed the whole time in both clips. Uh, and I know it's pretty difficult to determine which one was which. I think they both are very close. Uh, and you would probably, if you were to take a steel frame and drill down and compare them, I think you would still have a hard time. But I believe you could probably figure it out if you were to do that. What I've done now is this is a clip that I have turned off the low latency mode and hardware acceleration so that you can see more visibly the clip, the differences between the sides. And you can kind of determine, you know, at least that, you know, yes, there's two separate things going on here. Uh, so if you haven't figured it out by me turning off the low latency mode, and the hardware acceleration, the one that is lagging behind the other is obviously the NDI. Okay, so NDI is on the left, Elgato is on the right. It's pretty easy to figure out. So I'm really happy with NDI because as you can tell, it is really hard to determine a difference in quality between the two. So if you want to try it, I do have a couple videos on how to set up NDI using the scan converter, uh, that I was using to capture here or using OBS Studio. Either way, you get a nice quality video. So go out there and give it a shot. Um, I think NDI is great and it's a great way to save money when you don't need to buy a capture card. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, please hit the like, share it with your friends, subscribe, hit the bell so that you'll know when I go live. All right, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. Have a great, safe weekend and be frugal.